Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am really excited to be sharing with you three new coats I got from Burberry. I bought all three of these pre-loved on Bestiaire Collective. I did mention in a previous video that I had really fallen in love with Christopher Bailey era Burberry again, so I did want to add a few pieces to my wardrobe from his time at Burberry, and I am so happy that I was able to add these. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. I put out new videos every single week and I would love to have you back on my channel. So first off, here is my absolute favorite of the three coats that I bought. I just wanted to stop this video here and say, I know this coat is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. I know it's like actually quite hideous. I really love it. My husband hates it, but I thought it was a very kind of like sex in the city, gossip girl, NYC moment. So that is the reason I bought it. This is a gold lambskin Burberry short trench coat. So you can see that the lambskin is metallic. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is from the Burberry London line. It was made in Poland. I picked this up in a size 10, UK 10, which is a US 8 in Burberry. Usually it's a US 6 in Calvin Klein and Prada and places like that. But for some reason in Burberry, the UK 10 is a US 8. So I just think this coat is absolutely beautiful. Here around the back, we do have the belt and the belt loops. The belt is also made out of lambskin. I think these buckles are really, really gorgeous. They're also metallic, coated in lambskin. Um, we do have the kind of the flap here. And then detailing on the front, we do have the classic. I don't know the reason for this. There's only one on one side. Um, so we do have that one here. There's lots of different buttons on it, lots of different kind of hidden buttons because there's lots of different ways to wear these Burberry trench coats. We have the beautiful metal buttons and then my all time favorite print inside Burberry's check. I think this is the Nova check. Um, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is kind of like a gray, black and beige check. And I think it goes really nicely with the gold. And then you can see inside the coat, you do have some more of this metallic lambskin as well. Because this is lambskin, this is really, really soft and supple. I think if it was a little bit more rigid, then the leather would start um, kind of rejecting the metallic um, coating and would kind of try and get rid of it. But um, because it's lambskin and it's really supple, it holds really, really well. We have these really cute buckle details on the cuffs of the coat, and I just think it's absolutely stunning. This does remind me of Michael Jackson's um, Versace outfit that he wore on the history tour. I don't know if anyone is a Michael Jackson fan, but I am a big, big Michael Jackson fan. And when I saw this, it did kind of in the back of my mind remind me of the outfit he wore on the history tour. Next up, we have another trench coat. This one's a little bit more difficult to show you because it is longer so I'm going to undo it there for you. This is a gorgeous brocade fabric and it also has metal buttons again from the Burberry London line. Um, the belt is here because the previous owner removed the belt loops. I don't know if you can see there should have been belt loops here and here. The previous owner did remove them. She said that was because she wanted to wear it without the belt and it looked a bit strange with the belt loops just there. So this is a beautiful fabric. It's very shiny. Can you see that? The detailing on here, the embroidery is just absolutely beautiful. Plain kind of black check lining, very, very subtle. I do have another black Burberry coat and the lining is like this. I know that I'm probably not going to get much wear out of this in the spring and summer, obviously, but UK weather is really unpredictable. I did buy this because I just thought it was a really great price and I thought it would be good to have for when autumn, winter comes back around. And the last but not least, this is kind of more of a formal jacket and it has some gorgeous pleating here. And then on the back, it has that detailing as well. It's a really interesting fabric. It is just made out of polyester. It's not silk or anything. Um, if it was from the Prosum line, it would probably be made out of silk because they did tend to use more high quality materials. It's just a polyester with kind of like a shimmer to it. It's a really interesting fit. I love jackets with this kind of round neck, as you can see, and there is a button here. So if you did want to wear it with that button closed, you can. And then you can also pop the button closed here. And I imagine that would cinch your waist in a little bit more and it might be a little bit flattering. Arms are three quarter as well, which I think is really cute. Inside, we don't have any check. This 
time, but you can see there that there is the Burberry Night on the lining. This was made in Poland, just like the other one that I just showed you. My gold leather one was made in Italy. I do tend to like leather goods to be made in Italy because I just find that their craftsmanship is absolutely beautiful. I could definitely wear this over like a black dress or I could wear it like I wore it today with jeans. I just really, really like this and I can imagine myself wearing this with little ballet flats. I just think it would look really nice. I love jackets like this to dress up a casual outfit and I just think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I did record an intro and an outro but they were completely out of focus and I was really unhappy with them so I am just doing a little montage slow motion voice over moment. Please let me know down below which was your favourite of the coats that I showed you and let me know if you have any Burberry coats as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.